Air ground sensor failure. Take off runway 11. Kabul. Alpha Bravo Charlie, clear takeoff runway 11. Wind calm. Clear takeoff runway 11. Alpha Bravo Charlie. And 1, Togo. Thrust set. 80 knots. Checked. V1. Rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. I cannot move the gear lever to the up position. Roger, stand by. Auto throttle disengaged. Set heading selector and vertical speed with 1000 feet per minute. Heading cell, VS. Autopilot A command. I suspect we have an air ground sensor failure. The pressurization system is not working properly. Speed 200 not set. Call departure and declare pan pan. Request right turn to Lima Lima and ask to maintain 10,000 feet. Pan pan, pan pan, pan pan. Alpha Bravo Charlie request right turn to Lima Lima. Request to maintain 10,000 feet due to technical. Alpha Bravo Charlie, copy your request. Clear right turn to Lima Lima, climb to the altitude of 10,000 feet. Alpha Bravo Charlie clear to climb to the altitude of 10,000 feet. After Lima Lima we will turn right to the VOR and hold. Approved. Reducing thrust to maintain the speed. Roger. We are clear to climb to 10,000 feet. Set 10,000. 10,000 feet set. Checked. Let's read the landing gear lever will not move up after takeoff checklist. Yes, agree. Let me select it. Landing gear lever will not move up after takeoff checklist. Condition. The landing gear lever cannot be moved to the up position due to one of the following. Failure of the landing gear lever lock solenoid. Failure of the air ground system. Failure of the ground spoiler interlock valve to close. Note, do not use FMC performance predictions. Landing gear lever, down. It is already down. Do you agree? Yes, I agree. It is down. Retract the flaps on schedule. 1000 to level off. Checked. I will retract the flaps when we reach 10,000. Then we continue the checklist. Roger. I'm adjust the heading to keep the course 317 to Lima Lima. How is the pressurization? It seems that the aircraft is unpressurized. The differential pressure is indicating zero. The cabin altitude is just below 10,000 feet, and climbing was 1,000 feet per minute. I see. Let's keep 10,000. Flying within 10 miles from the VOR, it is safe. Agree. We have the 10 miles circle on the fixed page. Altitude acquire. Altitude hold. Speed 220 knots set. Checked. Flaps up. Continue the checklist. Choose one. Intermittent cabin altitude configuration warning horn stays silent. Not the case. I agree. Intermittent cabin altitude warning configuration warning horn sounds, or the takeoff configuration light, if installed and operated, illuminates when the flaps are fully retracted. Note, this indicates either a failure of the air ground system, or a failure of the ground spoiler interlock valve to close. That is our case. Do you agree? I agree. Do not retract the gear. Understand. Landing gear takeoff warning cut off circuit breaker. P63. C-18, pull. Stand by. We are approaching Lima Lima. I will turn right to Kabul VOR. I will set to fly inbound on course 150. Roger, I have already notified the ATC that we will hold over the VOR. 
Roger. Flaps 1. Speed check. Flaps 1. Flaps 1 speed set. Checked. When the warning stops, we continue the checklist. Okay. I've set heading 090 and inbound course 150 on the left. Checked. Can you find the CB? It is just behind you, over your left shoulder. Yes, I see. Take off warning cut off. I will pull it. Continuing with the checklist, note, the intermittent cabin altitude configuration warning horn may still sound and the takeoff configuration lights, if installed and operated, may still illuminate depending on thrust lever and flap position. Caution, do not use the speed brakes in flight. Plan to land at the nearest suitable airport. Do not arm the auto brakes for landing. Use manual braking. Do not arm the speed brakes for landing. Manually deploy the speed brakes immediately upon landing. Checklist completed except deferred items. Roger. Reconfigure the air panel. Later on, we may consider pressurizing the aircraft using the manual mode. Bleed number two on. APU bleed off. Bleed number one on. Isolation valve auto. Checked. For now, let's keep the APU running. Okay. Set a hole on top and enter the hold. I will. Cobble on top set. Checked. Execute. I will keep using heading selector as LNAF is not available. Okay. Hold set. Inbound 150. Right turn. Checked. Execute. Up speed set. Checked. Flaps up. After takeoff checklist. Engine bleeds. On. Packs. Auto. Landing gear. Down. Flaps up. No lights. After takeoff checklist completed. Master caution. Fuel. Roger. Fuel quantity in the center tank is zero. Turn off the center tank fuel pumps. Center tank pumps off. Over the VOR, turning right to heading 330. Notify the ATC we are entering the hold. Okay. 